students and faculty, you may be seated. The first thing I'd like to ask is if everyone would please check their cell phones to make sure they're in the silent mode. And um, we are videotaping this and every graduate will get a copy of the video so you can enjoy the ceremony. You don't have to videotape it yourself. I'd like to welcome family and friends as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. And welcome to our graduates. You made it, your day has arrived. And what a year you have had. You have proven yourselves to be quite flexible, a quite flexible group, able to go with the flow. The constant in and out of school this year, quarantining. And today, can we put that word to bed and ban it from ever being uttered again? <laughs> You've learned to be flexible with your mission trip. We're going, we're not going. Where are we going? You know learning to be flexible is a life skill, and you have all mastered it. Through the whole ordeal this last year, you've learned to embrace change and learned how to adapt. You learned how treasured family is and that you need them more than anyone during difficult times. You've learned how important friends and others are. God created us to interact and be part of each other's lives. We don't thrive and grow when we are socially isolated. And most importantly, you've learned that we don't control anything. We have to place our trust in the one who does. God loves us and he can be trusted with the details of our life. As you graduate and move on from FCS, I pray you will pursue the Lord in every decision that you make and that you choose to allow him to be Lord of your life. I pray every lesson you've learned, every Bible verse you've memorized, and every example that has been set for you will go with you as you begin to manage your own lives out from under the protective covering of your homes and school. All of us love you and pray the Lord's blessing on you. Please join me in a word of prayer this morning. Dear God, thank you for this lovely day. Thank you for all the things you have done for us. Thank you for blessing all of us seniors with family members who are here with so much love and support for us. Also, thank you for giving us each other as friends throughout the years. Thank you for giving us the biggest gift of sending your son to die on the cross for